Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you the Fluke Network's Micro Mapper cable testing device. Um, it's a combination cable tester and tone generator, uh, which uh, the tone generation comes in very handy if you don't have a tone generator or if you have one but it doesn't have an RJ45 or an RJ11 connector on it. Um, it's a pretty straightforward device, uh, does simple verification of uh, twisted pair cabling. Um, as you can see here, it has uh, the LEDs on the top indicate which pair. I'll tell you if they're if they're good. Um, it can also indicate shorted, reversed, miswired pairs, split pairs. Um, it includes in the bottom a remote tool, uh, which is used for uh, verifying your cables. Um, it's very handy if you need to, uh, if you can't get to both ends of the cable at the same time uh, and you don't have anybody to help you, you go and you plug this into one end of the cable and you come back and you can test the other end. Um, so let me show you how it, uh, how it works here. Uh, it comes with a short length of uh, a certified Cat5 shielded cable. Um, so go ahead and just plug one end of the cable in here, plug the other end into the remote. Um, now it has a three position power switch off cable and toner. Um, so we're going to move it into the cable or the cable testing position. Um, now if you just push the power button or push the test button here once, um, it's going to immediately tell you if this cable is good or not. Um, and as you can see, all the lights lit up, including the shield light, indicates each all four pairs are in good shape and it is a shielded cable. Um, now instead of if you just tap the button, if you hold the button in for a few seconds here, it's gonna go through each pair individually. Uh, now this is handy if you do have, uh, if, you, if these lights here are indicating a problem, um, it will tell you which, uh, which pair is the uh, culprit. Um, now what you can also do, uh, like I mentioned before, is this doubles as a tone generator. Um, so we're going to move this into the tone position. Now this does the same uh, thing that the first function does. If you tap the button once, you get one thing. Uh, so if you just push the button a single time, uh, now you will have to have an analog probe um, using the Fluke uh, Pro 3000. Uh, so if you just wave this over your cable, here you get a solid, uh, solid audio tone. Uh, now instead, if you hold the button in for a second, instead of that solid tone, you get uh, something that sounds more like this, which uh, to me is a little more useful, especially if you have a lot of background noise. It's a little easier to distinguish. Uh, when you're trying to hunt down a particular cable. So, uh, as, like I said, it's, it's a very straightforward device. Um, it does what it's supposed to do, and it does it well. My, uh, my complaints with it are really, it, it's, it's a little flimsier than most Fluke tools are, especially given the price tag. Uh, this goes online somewhere between $65 and $85, um, depending on where you get it from. So at, at that price range, I expect to see it a little bit, uh, not to say it's, it's not well built, it is, but not to the degree that you typically see with Fluke tools. Um, to give you an example, um, if you take the remote out and look inside it, you can actually see the PCB inside, um, which in most cases is not going to be a problem, but if you're using it in a, uh, a rough environment or... Um, a dusty environment it's not going to hold up as long as as if that were sealed um, uses four AA batteries and actually uh, batteries were included I'm sorry AAA batteries um, new batteries were included other complaint I have is uh, the lack of either a carrying pouch or uh, personally, I prefer a uh, wrist strap. Um, this strap is especially handy if you need to hang this off of uh, off of something while you're using it in the toning function. 
Um, otherwise, it's going to be dangling from one end of your cable, which isn't always the best thing to do. Um, overall, like I said, it, it does its job and does its job well. I'm not convinced that it's worth the price tag. Uh, there's a few things that could be done better. Um, but if you're looking for a simple, reliable cable tester, uh, MicroMapper does the job.